Hi, my name is Jan and I have done the Trans PRK surgery with accelerated cross-linking two days ago and I wanted to talk about the yeah experience that I had in the first 48 hours. I also plan to do this for um, a recap of the first week, the first month, then the yeah three month and six months checkup. Uh, so what I did was with Wavefront guided as a basis because there are I mean I'm not a doctor but there are terminologies like wavefront guided and topo guided and I did uh, wavefront guided at the Elsa Institute in Zurich Switzerland and um, yeah it was done on Monday the 10th March at around yeah, 13 o'clock the procedure took in total I would say 20 minutes so the this uh, trans PRK laser stuff did one minute and then this accelerate, accelerated cross-linking took like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes or something like that. And it was done uh, yeah, directly after, after the trans PRK. What was the goal of this eye surgery? So it's eye surgery, obviously. I mean, if you are uh, seeing this video, I expect you are planning to do something like that. And especially, or maybe especially you are also someone that has keratoconus. And if it's the case, I'm also really sorry for you. And if you have never heard of this eye disease, you are one of the lucky ones. Or I mean, the disease is that rare that you may not uh, have heard of it before. Um, so it's a disease where your cornea uh, gets thinner and thinner and has um, irregular astigmatism. So um, glasses can't fix the problem at a certain stage, which was for me the case on the right eye. So I only did it on the right eye because my left eye is pretty good with glasses. So before I had like, uh, so in Germany, we don't have this 2020 vision scaling like in the US, we have percentages and 100% is I guess 2020. And I had with glasses 70 to 80% which is 2040 or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. So not really good with glasses. And hence I decided to do the surgery on my right eye. And the plan with this trans PRK with accelerated cross link for keratoconus patients is not to get glasses free. I mean, that would be the ideal case. Uh, but the main goal is to achieve 2020 vision with glasses with this eye disease so seeing like a person with regular astigmatism so like a regular person let's say um so that was the goal and yeah we will see how this will turn out because this will take some weeks to figure out how good i can see afterwards so this trans prk yeah the first two weeks will be very yeah, it will be very random how I will see on that eye, let's say. So, yeah, I we will see. At the soonest point where I can give you some feedback of how good I can see, I think, will be the first month checkup. And then yeah, the doctors say it takes up to six months to uh, such that the cornea has healed. So this, this first layer on the cornea is this epithelium. And this gets also removed by this lasering and that this takes up to six months to get fully healed. I mean, now is day number two. If the day of the surgery is day zero, then it's day number two. Yeah, so we will see. Then about the surgery, I mean, you, I, I just looked like one minute into this laser thing and the sound is like a bee swarm. That's also what the doctor said. Um, and you have to focus to to look on the on a green dot but uh, there's not only a green dot but you see like i i don't like like 100 red dots because that's i think the laser that then goes over your eye or something like that and this machine gets like um really close to your eye like so uh as close as my glasses are currently um and then this took like one minute so i have to yeah concentrate myself to look one minute uh on a green dot so I mean it's not easy because if you think of this if I would move my eye like drastically to the side I mean th this laser uh, machine is smart and would stop there but uh, if you think about this like if I would just turn my head then it would laser my my skin or something like that so you are 
a bit of a, a bit afraid, let's say, that you have to really focus to look on the screen dot. Then after this minute, uh, yeah, by the way, that's also also what people say, you will smell like burnt, the people say burnt hair. I mean, I don't really know how burnt hair smells or burnt skin, but you you smell something, yeah, some, some kind of something was burning because I mean, the laser in the end of the day burns your cornea. Um, but I mean, it's just a smell, so... And the surgery itself does not hurt at all because you get so much uh, eye drops uh, to that that your eye is numb, so um, yeah, you don't feel anything. Then afterwards, I just stayed on this, yeah, laying position, let's say, and then the the doctor put this, um, yeah, cross-linking device. Or I mean, at first it was like five minutes dropping this uh, riboflavin drops into my eyes, and then this machine where I saw this, yeah, green, green, yellow-ish light. Um, and this took like then 10 to 15 minutes in total. Um, and then I was done. I mean, then I just, he said, just showed me this, uh, this drugs plan with all of these eye drops at which time I have to use them on which day. So the first three days are here. The, I mean, for you, the left side and day three to seven is the right side. And then after the first week, I just have to take um let's see one eye drop is mandatory and one is uh for yeah just if my if my eye feels dry uh also i have to take on the first three days uh painkillers three times a day but and now comes the interesting part for you why you are possibly watching the video because okay the surgery itself does not hurt and you maybe saw some YouTube videos from other people with this op with this surgery or some blog posts in the internet. Um, I mean, it's for e for everybody. It's different, and I can say I already did cross linking on both of my eyes a few years ago, like five to six years ago, and there I also had zero pain. And now I have to say, so I mean, it's only forty eight hours. Maybe the pain will kick in in the next days because some people say the third. And the fourth day may be the worst uh, with regards to pain, let's say. But I mean, we will see. But until now, so let's say um, in the first three hours after the surgery, I had no pain because I still was like on this painkiller um, eye drops. Then it started burning. I mean, it's so the pain that I had was like uh, it's burning and the eye was um, crying, let's say. Um, so it was not like a pain, like some needles or something in my eyes or something like that. It was just burning. And it's few some points it was burning when I have my eyes open. Then it was more burning. Then I have obviously closed my eyes for like half an hour, an hour. And at some other points at the, at the first day, it was uh, more burning if I had my eyes closed. So... Let's say that the first evening was not that good. I mean, it was like, if you would put it on a pain uh, scale, it was maybe 5 out of 10. So it was okay. I mean, I had headaches that were, were more painful. Um, then the first night was good. I had no pain, but I w just woke up like every 30 minutes. But I don't know why, because I had no pain. It, um, yeah, I don't know. I was, I, maybe I, 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 I don't know. I had no pain this night. Then the the yeah next day, so that was yesterday from my perspective. Um, there I only had some problems with uh, some of these eye drops because I don't know these somehow also um, were burning in my eyes when I when I put these eye drops in. But this uh, was also only lasting for like ten minutes, let's say. Um, yeah, then this day was completely fine. There we drove back from Zurich to my home because uh, from today on, I will have daily check-ins with my uh, yeah, uh, regular keratoconus eye doctor, let's say, because he also... So I, I did, as I said, cross-linking for both eyes some years ago. Uh, my other keratoconus eye doctor in Dusseldorf, Germany, and... In the last year, so in the last half of 2024, 
my right eye got a little bit worse again. A bit, I, I, I was still not happy with my eyesight. So I talked to him what I can do. And he just said, I can't do anything. But here, Professor Hafezi in Zurich is one of the yeah, best eye doctors for keratoconus. I mean, that's what he said. And until now, I'm happy. But I, I mean, I currently, I don't see anything good on my right eye. So if this was really a good idea to do this uh, surgery. I will know uh, in a few weeks. I hope so. <laughs> but he said, okay, go to Zurich because he's one of the best eye doctors for that case. And he can do some uh, surgeries that no one does in Germany. For, because for some reason in Germany, I, I mean, I found one doctor in Germany that does also the TransPRK, this Athens protocol style. Um, and yeah, forever, forever, for whatever reason, there's only few doctors uh, out there that do this. I mean, I, I can understand because with this laser surgery, you are removing um, cornea. And with this keratoconus disease, you lose cornea over the time and it shouldn't get too thin. So yeah, some doctors just won't do this because it may be complicated. So you really have to know what you are doing. Um, okay, then he just said go to Zurich, then I went there and he said, yeah, we can do it to remove um, this ir irregular astigmatism to better fit it with glasses or to get rid of this double vision and so on. Um, yeah, I will see if this worked out in the end. Yeah, today uh, afternoon I will have the checkup then in, in, in Germany and yesterday at the first daily checkup that was um, still in Zurich. The doctor said my epithelium is almost closed again. So after one day, it's almost closed. Pretty good. I mean, I also had, as I said, two times, or I also had some uh, some surgeries on my eyes back here, back in the uh, days. So, and there also my epithelium and the healing process and the pains and so on was pretty good. So maybe I'm one of the lucky ones there and some others have more uh, problems because right before me there was also um, a person that also did the same procedure also for keratoconus i think he was like 25 25 years old i also connected with him on his instagram and um I, I, then i after the surgery i wrote him how how it's going for you and he said he has really really um strong pain but he also did it on both eyes so yeah i only did it on the right eye because my left eye is still kind of okay. So the keratoconus on my left eye is very low, if you can say it like that. Uh, hence, I decided to only do one eye at a time. Maybe if this turns out to be really great uh, and super um, improving my vision and so on, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I will do it on the left eye next year. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But the right eye was my priority because that was really bad. And as I said, the other person uh, uh, sent me a message and he said it's really, really hurting for him. So for everybody, it's a bit different, I guess. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Yeah, now I should um, wear sunglasses if I go out into the sunlight for the next weeks. I mean, that's okay. So we are, we are heading to towards... Uh, spring that's not that weird to wear sunglasses maybe in the sun outside but imagine it's winter and you go out with sunglasses and everybody else thinks what is he about to do uh, he uh, maybe he's too cool for everybody else now nah. um then I, I, as i said i have my plan for these eye drops and as i said the first two weeks will be very random with the eyesight so I don't expect anything there. And that was also a reason because that I only did one eye. Imagine you are bo doing both eyes. I mean, if you want to do it, do it. But then you will, won't see anything for two weeks. Um, and I just said, okay, my left eye, I can see without glasses pretty okay. I think without glasses, I can see uh, on the left eye 90%, which is 20-25 vision then I expect. And with glasses, I have 20-20. So it's okay because my, my glass that I had before now doesn't fit on my right eye, obviously, because it's drastically changed. So in the next, at least the next two weeks, I have to walk around without my glasses. And um, yeah, then if, if both of your eyes were very bad and then drastically changed, you cannot work for at least two weeks, for example. 
Um, I mean, in Germany, it's not the problem because we get uh, get paid sick leave. <laughs> but in some other countries where you don't have this, you have to really think about it. Um, yeah, that's basically it, what I can tell you now. So very less pain, uh, but the eyesight is not that good. Um, I mean, I still have this bandage contact lens in that will be removed when the epithelium is completely healed. Maybe that's already t today the case or tomorrow. I don't know. I don't uh, I, I, and I can't do sp um, sports for at least seven days. I'm not allowed to swim or go to any. Yeah, no swimming, no sauna. For one month, uh, I'm not allowed to get any water into my eye for seven days. So the doctor just said, don't wash your hairs. Uh, just shower yourself below your breast, let's say. Be very careful with that. And in the night, I have so, so a plastic cap that I can um, put over my, my, my eyes. And then I can fixate it with some um, tape such that nothing... Um, touches my eye, yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. What I can say. So until now, everything is fine. We will see what will, what the future will tell.